Tonight is a very special night. Tonight is Halloween. Tonight is the night that we show the world Reginald Love is human. Mary. Mary, please don't look at me that way. How would you like me to look at you? I don't know, but not like that. I suppose the priest told you everything. Too bad you couldn't buy him off, too. Mary, it's not as simple as it sounds. Really? How is it? Please, I'm begging you to believe me. What I did was not meant to hurt anyone. It was done out of love. Love for whom? For you, of course. Ah, let me get this straight. You loved me so much that you ignored the fact that I wanted to return to my husband and children and just took me away. It wasn't like that. So you keep saying. You only said you wanted to go back because you felt guilty. People like that priest made you... Shut up! What? I said shut up! You are so used to controlling every situation, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. Ah, well then, this is an historic occasion, because this time, I'm in charge. And for once in your life, you will listen. And maybe, just maybe, you'll finally feel some shame. back here, I was trying to figure out who made me angrier, you or me. You mustn't blame yourself. I was your hothouse flower for 17 years. I'm not proud of that. You were never that. Oh, yes, I was. That accident took away my memory, not my will, but I let you tell me who I was, what my name was, what my history was. I never tried to find out if you were lying. You trusted me. Yes, I did. I trusted you, and that was probably my biggest failing. I trusted you. Did you enjoy those years? I'd give anything if we were back there now. Oh, I bet you would. You took a hard-working Irish Catholic girl, and you turned her into the wife you wanted. Who cared if she didn't know who she was? Who cared if she was only defined in terms of what you wanted? I thought you were happy. You didn't even take a chance of asking me to marry you after the accident. You just told me we were married. I couldn't lose you. Aha! Uh -huh. That's the only thing you care about, isn't it? What you might lose. Did you care about what my husband was losing? Or what my children were losing? Or what I was losing? No, you didn't. You didn't care, did you? You wanted and you took any way you could. What attracted you to me in the first place, anyway? I told you that. Oh, yes, I know. You saw me out the window in the white dress. But there has to be more to it than that. Was I beautiful? Did I have snappy repartee? Was I really good in bed? Oh, don't cheapen it like that. We were in love. How can you say that you loved what I was? You took it all away from me. Your history isn't what you are. Facts don't make a person. Facts! Facts like four children, one of whom was only a few months old. Facts like a husband I loved. You'd stop loving him. Then why was I going back to him? I was taken in by you. And we had an affair, but it was over. I was going home. Father O'Connor wants you to believe that. Oh, for crying out loud, Reginald, he's a priest. I told him that I was going to the yacht, and I was going to tell you that it was all over. And when I got there, I called him and told him I had done it. I didn't know that. No. No, it was probably the last thing I ever did in my life that you didn't control. I... Until now. I knew that husband of yours couldn't make you happy. Everyone was pressuring you. I saw it. Aha. Uh -huh. That's not what you said then, though, was it? What you said then was that I would never go back to Vince because you would die first. Only you didn't have to die, did you? You just let Mary McKinnon die so that you could create Lemuris LaSalle. Or maybe that was just dumb luck. What was? That I survived. Maybe... Maybe I was supposed to die when you pushed me over the side of the boat. No. Yeah, one of your little toys rejected you, so you thought you'd break it. Only it didn't break. 
So you thought that you'd teach it a lesson. You would teach it how to behave. I wanted to make you happy. You wanted to make me your property. And you did for 17 years. Well, maybe Marissa LaSalle put up with that. But Mary McKinnon won't. And she's back. Mary, please. I love you. You disgust me. You are beneath contempt. It makes me sick that I ever let you touch me. Please, Mary, listen to me. Mary, please. Mary, you can't leave. Mary, please, you have to What is that woman doing to my father? What did you try to do to me? I didn't touch you. You're the one that goes around carrying guns all the time. You put a rat snake in the stage. Snakes have to hang around in bars. Don't you please give me that gun? It's Halloween. They hibernate in this weather. Hey, please, Peter, it's nothing wrong. No, no, nothing is wrong, Bridget. Just make sure the music keeps playing, all right? Yes, of course. I will. We're leaving, Peter. You can't leave. Oh, yes, we can, and we are. Are you all right, Brittany? I'm fine. I wish I could believe that. Yes. Peter, I don't think this is the time for a party to be going on. Let's go. Please don't follow me, Rachel. Please. Mom, what are you doing? Dad, you have to let me explain. Please. You have heard enough.